I really enjoy the captaining part of it. It's cool having that responsibility and being in charge of the boat and you learn so much. I mean, because you're the, you're a plumber, the electrician, you're everything on the boat. I want to learn every in and out of captaining and become really good at it so that eventually one day I'll be able to teach it to somebody else. I guess people my age don't really think about this as like a career. It is more of a way just to make money quickly. There's not a lot of industries that I know of other than this one, like the fishing industry, where you can make, you know, like 20 grand in a summer and then be good after that, you know, as a contract. So once it's over, it's over. It's hard to find people. I mean, that's just the challenge. There's not, there's not a whole lot of experience, so we need to com continuously bring in people from outside to come up and work, and it's usually college students or young folks looking for an adventure, but not career fishermen. And then we'll do the stern. I don't think he knows how to tie up a boat, so I might have to help him. I mean, this is a pretty far place from where I live, so it's a very big step out of my comfort zone. My captain's been teaching me everything, how to like work the nets, uh, how to like just, how to do things. Uh, I mean, it's still early in the season and I've only been here for a short time, so I still got a lot to learn. My plan is to actually own them on my own boats eventually one day, but this is kind of the first step in the process is you gotta be able to run one correctly and know how everything operates to be able to get your own boat and run it by yourself and then teach somebody else to run it for you. The golden days of fishing are kind of behind us and now it's kind of a recovery of trying to bring the fish back and trying to keep this uh, viable way of making a living.